Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is another request for Ibram Gaunt. I think this may get me current with him, but uh, this is the Zagak E in animation colors. Um, I took a look at the footage from Gundam 0080 to get this, and it goes through, you know, depending on the lighting, it goes through a couple of different color schemes, but the, one, the most common one was a very dark greenish gray. Uh, with light greenish white, uh, you know, upper limbs. So that's what I went for. I hope you'll like it. I hope it's I hope it's what you were going for. You know, let me know, and I'm happy to give this another go because I've been, you know, trying to learn things as I go because it's pretty formidable. I'm just, as always, it's a raid, so it is not, you know, natural to me. It, it takes work and practice for me to get really good rounds with raids. But I think I do okay here. I don't place... But we win, and I think I, you know, do some pretty solid damage for something I'm not familiar with. Uh, the thing that makes the Zagaki special relative to the normal Zagak is it has a dodge roll. So, and that was just me using the uh, backward shift to get out of trouble, and decided that I'd come over here because there was just so much going on over there, I could not get a clear shot, and I was getting knocked around. So, the best thing I could really do would be get out of the way. Unfortunately, I just got myself in the way and got myself between the, uh, the, uh, an ally who was fighting that Gundam that just killed me and, uh, their target. Um, so I became the target. I'm amazed I didn't get that Dom that was standing back up just as it, uh, just as it, you know, came out of invulnerability. But somebody got it, so I'll take that. Unfortunately, we lost D, which is never good news. But I'm about to plant an airstrike, as is my want. I do that a lot because, it, they've, like I said, they've adapted it to the point where you're really not leaving the team down a person very long to do it anymore. So, Especially if you spawn in as soon as possible and you have a fairly long spawning mobile suit. So, I did it. Hopefully it will be helpful. I'm not exactly sure. The enemies have also sent an airstrike, so I'm not sure if anybody uh, hit anything with it. But, let's see, none of those missiles hit. Fired a couple of beam, uh, mega particle cannon shots. It is officially, according to its uh, weapon indicated down there, a mega particle cannon, so I'll try and say that correctly here. But it, all of its weapons, to my knowledge, can stun. If you hit with enough missiles, if you hit with enough shots with the mega particle cannon, it's just the missiles have that high arc, so it's very difficult to get a good shot in on them. And the mega particle cannon, I think, takes two to three shots to stun, so you have to pretty much nail your aim on every single uh, shot before it overheats. Plus, it overheats. You can fire two shots consecutively without it overheating, but if you go for the third, it's it's done. So, it's kind of a problem. I'm um, amazed that downswing uh, connected, but it did, so no harm done there. And, yeah, tried to get that guy stunned. Did not get it uh, quite there. Trying to get forward and get some damage in before I get killed, but too late. Peasant Doages are pretty tough at this point. I kind of want to uh, try them again. I don't know if they shortened the uh, swap time between the Beam Spot Gun and the Beam Bazooka, or if it was always that short, but you can keep some really good stun going with that if you're careful. So it's another one I want to give another try when I can. Uh, good news being that since they captured and we recaptured, we got the short timer for airstrikes, so I got to throw another one. Hopefully a useful one. But we've got a pretty good lead so far, so not bad. Back in Zagok. And now I just have to figure out, you know, where to approach from, what should I be doing. That's always the uh, tough uh, things. Um, fired a couple of shots with the beam gun, with the mega particle gun. It actually connected, and I and I got the kill. I was not expecting that. And I got that one by just sweeping around behind the guy. It's got a lot of boost, too, so... You, know, you can get a lot of good shots in like that if you're careful. I'm not careful, but occasionally I'm lucky, which pretty much... Ah, I believe Napoleon was asked what quality he most, uh, you know, appreciated and uh, looked for in a general, and luck was it. But... Okay, so just... Now I'm trying to keep my distance because it's a big pile of enemies over there and I'm a squishy raid. There's that blue destiny unit too, which, yeah, it's another one that kind of spent the match going after me. But luckily, the Gelgood swept in and blocked it off trying to take care of that iMobility Zaku, so 
And this, I just started laughing here because there's just so many people attacking from so many different angles. I couldn't even tell what was going on. I died so quickly. Like, four or five different enemies and two or three allies all swinging at each other. It was great. But I got a couple of good swings in. I did a fair amount of damage. I think most of it to legs. So that was not a bad angle of attack. It was just a, you know, death. And getting ready to spawn back in. Two and a half minutes left. We've got about a 2,000 point lead. It's not terrible. It's not, it's not, you know, invincible, but it's not terrible. Managed to uh, tag that Gundam pretty well. Managed to kill that Gundam, so now after the Gelgo. It used the tackle to get up that hill, so if I can get an angle. Unfortunately, the angle I got was me knocking over one of my allies. I apologize for that, because not at all what I meant to do. But that's just one of those things when you have a bunch of melee people in one place all trying to close the melee in one go. It's it's going to happen. That is, I believe, a Jim Sniper custom? Oh no, it's the Blue Desk in me again, so... And it just used Exam, which was actually not a bad thing for me, because it gave me a chance to position myself and get some good shots. And there's just the magic of latency where I swung on it, and it fell over, like, a minute later. Well, a minute. A couple of seconds. It felt like a minute. But, yeah, we were apologizing to each other and sending don't worry tells the whole time, because, yeah, we, we were tripping over each other, but it was a fun round. I launched those missiles because I thought I saw somebody trying to take D, and I was trying to... Uh, get in on them. And then I saw this person, and I did not expect that to work, but I was happy it did, because I wanted to... Unfortunately, it looks like somebody else killed him, but I did temporarily at least, you know, get the person who was trying to get him. So now we're all trying to get that uh, Blue Destiny whose pilot died before it could be uh, boarded. And it's dead, and we've got 57 seconds left. There's a bomb at the base, and there's nothing any of us can really do about that, but to be honest, we've got enough of a lead, it is entirely academic, so the best thing to do at this point is try not to die, and just, you know, stack some damage where you can. That gotcha missed me, which is nice, because that would have really messed me up if it hadn't. Didn't have time to tell him not to worry, but that high mobility managed to keep that still long enough for me to get a couple of shots in. Used my evade, like, instantaneously, and got the kill at the last second, so, well, 23 seconds left, close enough. Did a lot of uh, shield damage to that Gelgoog, but it doesn't matter, because that Gelgoog is dead. And, yeah, bomb goes off, we've still got a f almost 4,000 point lead. We're, we're not in any danger of losing this with 10 seconds to go, we would have to all fall within an airstrike we didn't know was coming, and that's not happening. And I missed the Blue Destiny entirely with my last little volley, but it worked out. And I thought this was a pretty good round. It was a fun round to play, so hopefully that comes across. And I uh, hope you like this, Ibram. I hope I got the colors uh, right. And uh, that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. And since I'm running out of the ability to say words, I'm going to call it here. So, till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later!